here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of in final series welcome to video number 14 and in this video we are going to start lee d alambert's ratio test from video number 11 to 13 we have discussed uh, comparison test i have solved three problems three good questions so that you have a very good uh, uh, hold on that topic okay now onwards from video number 14 to 16 we will be solving uh, we will be studying this topic and we will be solving three important questions on D. Alembert's ratio test. Fine. Now, what is this? That is D. Alembert's ratio test. Before I proceed, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. And if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this infinite series with your friends. In this way, you are going to support me, and it is just a request. So, let us start. What is D. Alembert's ratio test? If summation un is a positive term series, okay, summation un is what? It is a series of positive terms and limit n tends to infinity is un plus 1 upon un which is equals to L, okay, limit n tends to infinity, un plus 1 upon un is L, L may be any number, okay, L may be, L may be any number. What is un? un is the nth term of this series and what is u n plus 1 yes you will get u n yes in place of n we need to put n plus 1 okay in that case we will get u n plus 1 so if summation u n is a positive term series and limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n is equals to l l may be any number in that case yes first that is summation u n is convergent if the value of l is less than 1 the summation un that is a series or you can say positive term series okay positive term series that is un summation un un is convergent if the value of l comes to be less than one but if summation of un is divergent if l is greater than one okay i repeat this yes this value of l is going to tell whether this summation un that is my series is convergent or divergent it is convergent if the value of L is less than 1. It is divergent if the value of L is greater than 1. Okay, I hope that you've understood this D. Alembert's ratio test. What if the value of L comes to be uh, comes to be 1? Okay, here we have talked about two points that is L is less than 1 and L is equals to 1. If the value of L comes to be 1, in that case, this test that is D. Alembert's ratio test is fail. Okay, in that case we need to go for comparison test as we have discussed from video number 11 to 13 okay yes so in under this topic we are going to solve very good questions okay yes in these three questions we are going to solve test the convergence of the series in this video we will be solving this and in the next two videos that is video number 15 and video number 16 okay in 15 we will be solving this question in video number 16 we will be solving this question Test the convergence of the series. If you see this part, which is in the in this uh, in this video, this series is either convergent or divergent. Okay. When I solve this problem, we will see it is under either this case or this case. Okay. But in rest of the two question, that is question number two and three, yes, these two are very 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 good question because test is going to fail okay the test is going to fail in these two questions that is question number two and question number three is very 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 important okay so let us start with the question number one the question says test the convergence of the series the series is one square upon one factorial plus two square upon two factorial plus three square upon three factorial plus four square upon four factorial plus dot 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 okay yes in some questions you can see this is written as one okay this is written as simply one because one square upon one factorial is what one okay so if you get somewhere that is one plus two square upon factorial two plus three square upon factorial three plus a dot 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 you're going to see you you need to say uh, you need to solve just like this okay yes here what is my nth term okay if you want to know what is u n u n is the nth term of this series what is nth term here you can see the series is going like 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. So it is going to be n square, okay, in the numerator part. 
but in the denominator part we are seeing one factorial two factorial three factorial four factorial and so on so it is going to be n factorial okay so finally we can say what is un un is n square upon n factorial in the same way we can find u n plus one how in place of n we need to write n plus one yes it is just simple u n plus one that is n plus one whole square upon n plus one factorial fine so from here we have u n plus one and u n fine now we can find easily that is u n plus one upon u n that is this part u n plus one upon u n how yes u n plus one that is n plus one whole square upon n plus one factorial we have written this here now in the denominator part you have u n that is n square upon n factorial now since this is in the denominator of this okay so when you are writing this here you need to write this that is n square in the denominator part and this in the numerator part why because this in the this u n is in the denominator part so this numerator will become denominator and this denominator will become numerator now solving this that is n plus 1 whole square will be as it is n plus 1 factorial okay n plus fact 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into factorial n okay you need you need to know this that is n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into factorial n okay yes this factorial n is as it is and n square is as it is there is no change in these two yes numerator and denominator now if you solve this factorial and factorial will get cancelled n plus 1 will get cancelled yes now in the numerator part we have one term that is n plus 1 and in the denominator part we have n square okay now again n upon n square can be written as 1 upon n and 1 upon n square can be written as 1 upon n square so finally we can say u n plus 1 upon u n is what 1 upon n plus 1 upon n square okay yes now we need to find the limit okay limit that is limit n tends to infinity this part that is u n plus 1 upon u n okay yes what is the value of u n plus 1 upon u n that is 1 upon n plus 1 upon n square we need to write this here so this is going to be limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n plus 1 upon n square now simply put limit that is limit that is n tends to infinity if you put infinity in place of n 1 upon infinity will become 0 Similarly here, 1 upon infinity square. Infinity square is also infinity. So 1 upon infinity will become again 0. So 0 plus 0 will be 0. Okay. Yes. Now here you can see the limit becomes 0. Which is less than 1. Okay. Now let us see what is D. Alembert ratio test. Yes. According to D. Alembert's ratio test, if summation u n is a positive term series and limit n tends to infinity, u n plus 1 upon u n is equals to L, then summation u n is convergent if L is less than 1 and summation u n that is my series is divergent if L is greater than 1. Simply remember one thing that is when L is less than 1 if the value comes out to be if the limit comes out to be less than 1 the series is convergent if the limit comes out to be more than 1 it is what it is divergent okay limit comes limit is L and L is less than 1 in that case the series is convergent limit which is the value of limit is L and L is greater than 0 in that case the series is divergent okay you need to know you need to remember these two things if you are dealing with the question of D Alembert's ratio test now let us see yes so limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n comes out to be 0 which is less than 1 and since the value of this limit is less than 1 so we can say by d alembert's ratio test the series is convergent okay since the value comes out to be less than 1 okay since the value comes out to be less than 1 so the series is convergent had this been more than 1 then the series would have been divergent okay so what was the, the key points that is first of all you need to find the uh, what is un okay that is nth term of the series that is un okay what is un here you can see it is n square upon factorial n now with this we can easily find u n plus 1 okay in place of n we need to write that is n plus 1 simply write n plus 1 in terms in in, in place of n okay then you need to divide okay that is u n plus 1 upon u n and after that we'll find the limit okay limit n tends to infinity of for this that is u n plus 1 upon u n from here you will get some value and after watching this value only we can decide 
by DL number series should test whether the series is convergent or divergent or my test failed. Okay. In the next problem, in the next two problems, that is in video number 15 and 16, we will deal with the questions where the test fails. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.